you know the syllabus and you know the books then why isn't this rank coming hi my name is dr amir godel and we have dr sahil with us and today in this video we are going to talk about your preparation strategy in terms of repeating your neat mds or why you are not being able to score the kind of score that you expect to and what is going wrong in your preparation hello students i'm dr sahil so in this video we will be covering what mistakes a repeater usually makes and they they have a feeling that they have already covered the syllabus but still why they cannot get the rank so that is what we will focus in this video right so if you have a student uh, suppose if they are following the syllabus but they do not have the right plan then what should be the right strategy for this kind of a candidate who's preparing for neat mds yes so when it comes to a repeater there are few basic mistakes which every repeater makes now the first one is that they, there is too much focus on covering more syllabus they are not focused like when it comes to the neat mds preparation the what you study is not as important how you study it matters so when i say how you study it so the multiple revisions you have to cover each subject in depth and you have to practice multiple times before appearing for the exam mm. that is the number one thing that students make mistake in correct so it is the vastness of the syllabus that is number one as a point which should be addressed because when you have too much data too much content and too many topics to read then you are not focusing on the right things first of all and when you are doing whatever right things you are doing you are not giving enough amount of attention that it requires you are not reading it in depth so the first thing should be to filter out all the data that you need to read and you should be able to give enough time to that data you should be able to read it thoroughly and do justice to those topics which are very high yield for the exams makes sense now technically if a student is spending say 8 10 hours a day a lot of students i have hundreds of students uh, coming to me telling me that i am giving 8 10 hours a day 12 hours a day i am getting so exhausted but i am still pushing my boundaries and still being persistently working and i'm still not getting the rank so now what yes. what do you think is not working out for students like these yeah so this brings us to the second mistake number 2 the mistake number 2 which is i feel the most important mistake that is that they will the lack of analysis part so what hmm. happens is the analysis can be done either from your previous attempts of the neat or through the mock test which you are giving regularly now when i say analysis how we will analyze that where we are weak so when when we give a particular mock exam let's say there is a test consisting of 200 questions now in that test i have attempted 150 correct 40 mm -hmm. wrong and 10 i have left now how we will analyze it in the wrong questions and the which we had left that is total 50 questions now we have to analyze each and every question not that like if we follow the ai tracker also we will come to know that okay these subjects i am weak in but in every subject also there is a topic wise gradation that easy mm -hmm. easy question average question or now this gradation is very important this is based on the average topper like this is something which a topper has to get correct so that is for that will fall either under the easy category or the average hmm. category the difficult questions we do not have to focus now what happens as a repeater is that they feel that okay we have got 50 correct 50 incorrect they will not analyze the wrong questions in depth what they will do they will analyze the paper as a whole and herein what they will miss out is when they are not analyzing the wrong answers because let's say suppose 50 40 i had got wrong now in the 40 there will be around 20 25 which will be either easy or average mm -hmm. category which i have got wrong the goal is to improve on those 20 25 only not to improve on every 40 because every paper let's say a 200 question paper will have let's say 20 25 questions which you nobody will know so mm -hmm. what a repeater does mostly what they do the mistake is they will focus on those 20 25 questions and thinking that okay this has come from a very high level then they will start reading those books the goal is right. to not commit the 2025 easy silly mistakes mm -hmm. all right so what in a nutshell what dr sahil wants to imply is when you see topics which are completely brand new something that is uh, never seen before 
don't waste your time running behind finding out more data on those topics focus on the normal average kind of questions that were wrong for you because that is more right. important than the ones which are not very super level or something which have low tendency to be seen in the exam i also want to add here dr sahil yes. that the questions suppose you said 150 questions are correct now i know that a lot of students will do a lot of guesses they will have some kind of uh, conflicting thoughts while picking the answer and they might get it correct i think they should also highlight or bookmark questions which they are not sure and they have attempted which were correct because that needs that area for correct. them needs clarity they should reread that concept because why in the first place were you confused is the yes. question that should arise so if you have any questions that you are attempting because you feel that something is right or wrong and if it is right those are also the questions you should focus on thoroughly because their explanation will give you the clarity that you are missing at this point of time yes but that has to come from within so they have mm -hmm. to they, because they will only they can know that okay i got few correct i got 150 correct but out of those 20 30 were guesswork so that right. will come from within so they have to analyze or what what other strategy they can follow is that in the few first two three months because they are a repeater so from beginning itself they will be giving the mock test mm -hmm. so from in the first two three months what they can do is if they are confused even between two options they should leave mm -hmm. that question so that mm -hmm. makes it very easy for them that in the initial attempt they, they will know that okay i have not attempted let's say 70 questions so i have to read these 70 topics for these 70 questions this i am weak in Right. So they should filter out the data they are not sure about rather than yes. just guessing at initial stages of the preparation. Because so that initially they can read it is and... like, yeah, for them it is not a competition right now. First two, three months. So now they are beginning. Now they again have another one year for the need. So first two, mm -hmm. three months they can filter out the content. And then after the third month, when they give a mock, they can attempt with the guesswork also. For that, I think we should do a separate video also on smart guessing and how to guess when you are not sure. Yes, we have a few examples videos that we've shot before. We can include the links in the captions here, but we yeah, will sure. do a fresh video on how to address this issue from the beginning of your preparation. Definitely, we should yes. do that. Now, another thing that I have noticed is uh, uh, students have issues with time management. We spoke about uh, students who are giving enough time but are not doing the right kind of preparation. And then there are students who have... Uh, studied a lot before they have their concepts clear but now they are like okay we still have a year to go 10 months to go we should just take it easy right now and then we should start bucking up at the you know around six months closer to the exam do you think that is the right approach to have no, for the, a repeater the, the right approach is to begin right from day number one with the same enthusiasm mm -hmm. see there is a saying that you have to practice like you have never won and perform like you have never lost only once yeah. you practice <laughs> With that end goal in mind, only mm -hmm. then you will become that good in the end. And also, when I say time management, time management also comes with practice as a component. Mm -hmm. And now when it comes to time management, now I will tell you how I used to attempt my, my exam. Like when I'm giving a paper, let's say I'm giving NEAT MDS. So I have mm -hmm. 240 questions. Now what I used to do is I used to divide it into three readings. Because we have seen in the last six, seven years, the pattern has changed slightly. Earlier, there were a lot of one line questions. Mm -hmm. Now the questions are like seven, eight lines and a lot yes. of clinical knowledge is also asked. So in that you mm -hmm. have to read the entire question. So what I used to do is I used to follow a simple method that first the one, two liner questions I would attempt. So what happens is out of that, let's say out of 240, we have 100 questions which are one liner or two liners in the NEAT exam. Mm -hmm. So mm. those questions you have to finish very fast. Ideally, you have mm. 45 seconds per question. If you mm. see three hours and 240 questions, the goal is that don't spend more than 20, 25 seconds in those easy questions, which are just mm. one line. And in that, don't worry. Let's say out of 100, I know 70. I don't know 30. You leave mm. those 30. Then you, mm. then you focus on the clinical aspect. Mm. Then because there you will take a lot of time. You have to read the question. You have to understand the question. Then you have to arrive at the correct answer. Then after you have done in the first reading, all the questions you have attempted, let's say you are left with 70, 80 questions. Mm -hmm. Now I know out of that 30 are the one liners and mm -hmm. 40, 50 are in depth clinical. Now you will give a second reading wherein you will read all the questions. Now you will not segregate. In that second reading also, let's say I was confused in two options and few questions. I After I thought I arrived at the correct answer. Okay, this is the answer. Now let's say I've, uh, let's say I attempted more 30, 40 questions more. Now I'm left with mm -hmm. the remaining 40 questions 
and now hardly you would be left with let's say 15 20 minutes in the exam mm. Mm. even if you are managing the time properly you will not get more than 15 20 minutes for those last 30 40 questions then in those 40 questions how you have to do that we will talk about in the smart guessing video where you are confused between two options or you don't know any option but ideally the goal is that they should finish these two readings with 20 minutes at hand so that in the last 20 minutes they can revise the questions which they have attempted also and they can also do this guessing and all right so this is uh, for those who are starting with a lot of mock exams and trying to understand uh, how to get better with attempting the exam this strategy is something that will really help you number one filter out your uh, smaller questions finish them faster so even now when you are practicing just make sure that you are not spending too much time on uh, rereading the questions like train your mind because you've already gone through the process once you know how to filter out things that are easy to answer for you so start doing that now at this point of your preparation use your time very judiciously and number 2 when you have filtered out clinical questions and difficult questions then you should be able to tackle them uh individually with the attention it requires if it needs to be guessed if it needs to be put for review if it needs to be reread if there is options to be eliminated so start using that strategy now in your practice because that is going to help you in in generating that cycle where automatically your brain is trained that this has to be addressed in a specific way and as far as your day to day hourly contributions are concerned i should tell you that now is the time for quality preparation spend time on quality of your preparation time and again in this video also we have told you 100 times that just focus on how you are preparing rather than what you are actually preparing because you know the basics and it's very easy to get carried away yes absolutely and the focus should be more on practicing and practicing in a strategic manner where you focus on the weak areas where you segregate the topics into easy average and hard right so what kind of practice strategies other than uh, the segregation do you think could be useful at this point of time yes so now once they segregate this then there is another common mistake which they will make in the analysis part only because they are thinking that they are missing out on the hot topics hot as in the higher order thinking which they are thinking that are coming from medical subjects or some mm -hmm. very high fi question what mm. will happen is they will have the tendency to over attempt mm. why because in the back of their mind they are presuming that okay might be the topper must be knowing this question Mm -hmm. because of that to increase their score they will make a guess in that question and they do not know mm -hmm. anything about that question then mm -hmm. the tendency of a negative marking increases so another mm -hmm. tip is that do not over attempt even during the practice what you are sure about you make it and let's say you do not know any question at all you don't even know the question you don't even know any of the options then it is a waste of time attempting it and even in the exam hall it will only lead to negative marking all right so unseen topics unseen questions refrain yes. from attempting if you have a gut feeling if you know that you can eliminate two options and take a chance it's fair to attempt but don't be under the pressure that because others might get this question correct you should also attempt this question now yes. that being said this is all about the mock exams and uh, about uh, you know how to tackle with negative marking and things like these but in a general in a very basic frame if i had to say that if a person has all the resources but they are still not doing better let's let's not consider mock exams just in terms of their quality preparation they are not doing enough they are not doing well enough in their q banks for example they are not being able to recollect or they are not being able to you know uh, cope up with the stress how should they be uh, feeling the motivation what should be they doing yeah so they have to look within themselves rather than looking for motivation outside you have to just see that where are you going wrong just focus one by one on the weak topics and mm -hmm. as we have talked in the syllabus coverage videos also that you have to focus on the basic subjects in the first few months before mm -hmm. moving on to higher clinical subjects like oral surgery and all because mm -hmm. therein you need you need to have to develop that brain within the first 3 4 months so that you can grasp the heavier topics later on Hundred percent. So even if it takes uh, you to do another reading of the original fundamental topics, don't hesitate to open uh, the bytes again and videos again and go through the concepts. If something has uh, been very volatile and it has left your uh, thinking process, just go back, revise, and don't be ashamed to repeat things from the beginning. Even if it takes a little time right now, 
uh, you you have the time right now to spend so don't worry about uh, you know missing out on bigger chunks later because right now is the time to clean up all the fundamentals that you have missed out on in your first attempt and i think that should do the deed for you is there anything else that we need to address doctor no i think it's enough for this uh, se segment only one thing that the focus should be more on practicing the more you practice the more mistakes you will recognize and the more you can rectify them the first Perfect. goal to rectify anything is to know what mistake you are making first you have to know the cause only then you can correct the cause 100% very well said and with that uh, we will take uh, your uh, leave here and if you want to watch such amazing content uh, that will help you boost your preparation make sure you subscribe us on youtube follow us on instagram and join our telegram sessions for group discussions and doubt solving and if you are not a meritus user just download the app today give it a try it's free and you will have lots of things to learn from and a lots of content to uh, benefit from so all yes. the very best and i'll leave a comment below in case if you have any queries and we'll reach out to you thank you and all the best